Hey, welcome back Design Squad. Welcome to this Design Tool Tuesday where I'm gonna share with you one of the brand new tools out there in the market which has a lot of potential and it's called UIZard or UWizard. I'm gonna go with UWizard for now because that has a good sound to it. It's basically, if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I reviewed Microsoft AI, which is kind of sketch to code and it was sort of okay. It was very technical, very scrappy, very experimental. Well, this tool is almost like a step up from there and it's obviously made of a lot of design emphasis rather than emphasis on you know HTML and coding and it's definitely done by designers for designers. It's currently in a beta version and you can actually check it out at user.io. You can sign up for a beta. Let's just go through and I'm going to show you exactly what the tool is about. As you can see, I played around already with a couple of them. The most interesting bit in UWizard, you can scan your hand-drawn wireframes like I'm just going to show you right now and then you can apply a design system and digitize it. And right off the bat, if I jump to my design systems, as you can see, that's a good way to start. If you are new to the tool, I would start here because, hey, you can specify, let's say, have my VA experience, very simple design system. You can create your own, but basically you are able to add new colors, new shades, things of that nature. And let's say these are the colors which are good enough for me to then roll out into all of my mockups. And imagine if you're working on a product design, that's probably the best place to start. You can define typography, you know, button styling. Let's say this one, I want the text to be white, let's say, boom. And as you can see, it's a bit more cleaner. You can define default images, navigation bits. So we basically start by defining all the components and the look and feel, and then you can go to the next step. And let me show you right off the bat of how you can do it. So immediately, if I would start and say, hey, this is VA experience version two, let's say a new project, new prototype, and I can either select different predefined wireframes or I can upload my own. So just to show you what's gonna happen if I, let's see, select one of them. And as you can see, it digitizes everything as per mockup. I can also adjust it. So let's say if I want to align something or I want to edit the input field uh, values, it's all digitized. So it becomes almost like a Figma or sketch uh, layout, the UI for you to and, you know, play around and actually do something about it. You can also drag and drop and adjust the layout accordingly to see what you get uh, type of editor. And you also have the starter kit, which is basically the components you can drag and drop. So I guess, you know, one of their marketing bits is to for you to scan bits, but it's also that you can actually drag in and, and just design it alongside. So you can always improve, you know, if an additional layer of tweaks, you can make your mockups a bit more high fidelity and responsive to your needs. I'm gonna upload my own wireframes as I was talking before. I have a few of them. I basically went and quickly drafted a few versions of the wireframes. One is a landing page, very generic. Try to keep the edges very kind of like a, you know, like hand-drawn. Second one, I just had a menu. I wanted to see if it actually picks up the slide out menu and it understands what it is. Is it just gonna be a static outcome or not? And the third one was a bit more complex, which is data visualization. Something which is very difficult to work on. Some people think it's easy. I think it's very difficult to actually get it right and make you know data visualization meaningful as a decision support tool. And so I just really quickly drawn out some charts and some table and you know very basic bits, uh, back button, share button, and that's about it. And so let it process. And boom, as you can see, it's processing every single R board. That's close enough, I guess. It's not, you know, ideal, but it actually detected some of the bits which are quite interesting. The most, I think, reasonable one, just to put it side by side, I think it's the first mock-up, as you can see on my screen here. This is how it looked like in my sketch. I guess it detects simple patterns. Couldn't understand my very sketchy personal icon details, my account uh, icon. It knew that it's latest post. The second one is a bit off as well. I, I didn't think that it would detect that this is an, you know, a new panel. It, let's say, ignored the text here. It put some very simple text, which I then can actually, you know, update the styling, can basically adjust on it. And the last one, which is data visualization, which was like a, an experiment 
which I, I would never think it would get it right at all, ever. And as you can see, there is a, a lot of white space there. I don't know what happened here. And if I actually can adjust in this tool, but I don't think so, unless it's just an empty div, but no, it seems like it just inserted random margin to it. And needless to say, no, so this is arrow. It knows, it doesn't know that this is a bar chart for sure. Also, it detected that this is an image, probably just interprets what it sees um, instead of trying to run through logic decision tree to define exactly what could be an outcome. Now, one thing to finalize, and you know, I, I would definitely recommend you to just play with it and then feedback to the tool makers of how we could improve it is the prototyping. So as you can see, there is a different tab where you can basically just align different things. So let's say that image to, you know, for it to take to the next artboard. But as you can see, I then can make like a very basic prototype. I'm just gonna click play. And then I have my very simple prototype, kind of like in vision fidelity type of thing. Of course, the animations are quite basic here. It's kind of just like switching the states. But as you can see, they're saying, hey, animation's coming soon. And it can also share it if people add comments. So let's say if you're co-designing, that's a great feature, as well as code in inspect. So this is where, you know, we're trying to probably make it an end-to-end -end tool where you could do handovers if you're developers. Uncommonly, it spits out a very well structure just out of, you know, very basic Outlook HTML, meaning that you can almost just copy this HTML or just export it this HTML and CSS and then try implementing as a web interface for let's say react native or further steps to actually make it live. Just to finalize, I think the tool like that is really great to have, especially for you know, designers who let's say whiteboard different sketches on a go and then just capture it and want something immediate. And I see a lot of potential because if we add let's say much more customization pair component like something like Figma has, Sketch has, so you can define specific properties. And so there's a lot of potential. If you want an access to this, I have five invites, which you wizard kindly prepared for us. Drop me an email note that you want one and the first five are gonna get. I'm not affiliated with the tool by any means. I think it's just something which is awesome to try out because I love these things when we take the physical world and digitizes and I think that's where the design is heading. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like this tool. Give them feedback. As per usual, give a like, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.